Hi, I'm Stephen with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about the Sennheiser MKH416, or simply the 416. Now, the 416 is uh, the second shotgun microphone in our series of reviews. Now, if you're unfamiliar with shotgun microphones, uh, please, by all means, go back and watch our blogs on the introduction to shotgun mics. I think it would help uh, you understand the terminology going forward uh, that we use in the shotgun mic reviews. Um, now, so the Sennheiser MKH 416 is a shotgun microphone, therefore a condenser, which just means it needs an internal or external power supply in order for you to use, either from a battery or a preamp, like uh, from on a location sound mixer, like a Zoom H4 or H6. Now the 416 almost has a full range frequency response uh, going from 30 hertz all the way up to 20k. It's still fantastic for capturing dialogue or sound effects. Now, the bass roll-off on the 416 is designed to gradually drop off frequencies below 130 hertz when turned on. Now, as far as sound pressure level is concerned, the 416 has a max SBL of about 130 dB. This is pretty typical of smaller diaphragm condensers, but shotguns are also designed not to handle extremely loud sounds from close up, like capturing gunshots or sounds from shotguns, for sound effects, of course. Now, the pickup patterns on shotgun microphones uh, as a whole are very unique and uh, even more unique per mic, make, and model. Now, the Sennheiser uses a super cardioid pickup pattern on the capsule, and because it's positioned at the back of the interference tube, its polar pattern becomes what's called low bar, which means very directional. Now, we've used the Sennheiser MKH416 to record the first 15 blogs we posted from MikeReynolds.com. The 416 is the current workhorse of the TV and film industry. Now, when used indoors, keep in mind it's really resistant to air movement, uh, especially when moving from uh, shot to shot, capturing dialogue, uh, especially while the camera's still rolling. Um, this doesn't mean that it's okay for you to use without a windscreen when going outside, though. I have personally used the 416 on dozens of shoots for Thrive15.com and found the mic to sound brilliant and true uh, when I can get about three feet away in the target zone between the mouth and the chest. Now, normally you'd pay about $1,000 to buy the 416, but at MikeReynolds.com you can try it out and rent it uh, for 100 bucks for three days. Um, that's a pretty pretty good price for that rental. Uh, we also have the shock mounts, the boom poles, the cables, uh, the boom pole C-stand adapters for you to utilize as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That wraps it up on the MKH 416. Until next time, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com. 